Hazan and Sheva. So, um, Hazan and Sheva were basically Cindy Hazan and Philip Sheva. They were two psychologists who basically uh, took forward the study of attachment theory. <clears throat> So up to this point, to let's say 1960s, 1970s, um, Ainsworth had only empirically um, proved that uh, Bowlby's theory of attachment is actually true. And it's visible scientifically and it's measurable and it can be repeatedly measured over time. So it's something that's very valid. It's a very valid theory. And it's been, it's been shown time and again to have across different cultures as well, not just in the States or in Europe, even in India, even in Africa, everywhere, all over the world, there are universal attachment styles and Ainsworth was uh, the first one to actually prove that it, it exists and it, it, it's fairly similar. Um, and then she added her own categorization system to show that these, these attachment styles could be different in different mother and child diets. So like I said, these, she, was, she actually came up. So Bowlby only came up with a theory and then Ainsworth added her categorization system after doing the strange situation test. And then Cindy Hazan and Philip Shaver were the first researchers to actually propose that attachment styles in infancy could influence attachment styles in adulthood. So they were the first psychologists to actually say, okay, you know what, what if uh, the attachment style of the baby remains throughout their life and then it actually affects how they behave in their own close adult relationships with their partners and would attachment style of infancy carry forward in a person and would that person still have the same attachment style as an adult? So they were actually the first people to say, what if we saw the same attachment style continue throughout an individual's life? Um, so what they did was, and the paper that I have uh, later on as an assignment is on this, they formulated a love quiz, which was basically a questionnaire on your attachment styles and uh, for adults. And uh, they could accurately predict um, the person's attachment style in close romantic relationships. And then they assessed that person's attachment style with their own mother or their own primary caregiver. And they found that the attachment that the person had um, memory of, like having a good attachment with their mother, similarly had um, good attachment in their close romantic relationships as adults. So Hazan and Sheva actually started to see a link between how adults behaved in their romantic relationships and their attachment style to their own mother. So this led to the revolutionary breakthrough that our first intimate relationship with our first caregiver, which is mostly the mother, actually can have a significant and long lasting impact on adult romantic relationships. So that's how this whole theory came about, which is used a lot today by psychologists all over the world that what's your attachment style? What's your relationship like with your mother? That's, this is the basis. This is the foundation of that question in psychotherapy is what is your relationship like with your mother? It's been used um, for many psychotherapy, psychotherapeutic techniques um, as a basis of, of those techniques um, to actually fix the attachment style, to be able to uh, fix the person's adult relationship problems. So eventually what this led to is that Freud's first instincts about the mother and child relationship being very important in, in a person's mental health. He was actually right about it. It was just that he was not able to prove it at his time because uh, it was a very, very revolutionary and, and um, very, very new way of thinking uh, where, where Freud was based and the time that he was based in. But uh, what Ainsworth and Bowlby actually did was they took something from Freud's first psychoanalytic theories and they made something uh, measurable out of it. And um, it was the first time that one of Freud's theories was actually built up on and studied and proved to be valid. So that was a big breakthrough actually for that time for psychoanalysis. Mm -hmm.